How's it going, YTPC? Just a little impromptu video. Sitting outside in the garden shed because it's rather windy and I don't know if the audio will be any good. The wind's blowing all the time. I'm smoking my Savinelli dry system pipe. In it, I just found recently a tobacco store nearby. Some Admiral's Flake, Flake from Balkan Rift, Cherry, and I think it was sitting there quite, eh, quite a few years maybe. The amount of dust build up was amazing. Few dings and scratches here and there. The sticker can just peel it off. Might try peel it off. So my guess is it's an older box. Don't know any anything specific about it. The only thing I know, it's pretty damn nice. Haven't tried it before. So I thought for eight bucks, might as well give it a try, since it's the first flick as well for me. It's really smooth, maybe has something to do with the age. A redder, if you open the tin, it's a redder, it's a redder mild cherry note. Not something like in your face like Borkham with Ruby or the McBaron Red Ambrosia. They have a really strong aromatic note, but this is redder. It's really calm. It's not too much and it smokes great. Moisture was perfect right off the bat. If you pack it right, right lights right up and actually no problem with smoking down a whole bowl without, without relighting. So I can't complain actually. Might pick up the other tins that were there. I'm currently drinking a nice cup of coffee. Actually a Cuban coffee. It's my special treat. I don't drink it all the time. I really fell in love with the coffee back when I was in Cuba last year in August. A really great country. If you haven't been there and you love cigars or rum, definitely, definitely give it a try. If just for the historical part and sightseeing and whatnot. It's just an, we were in Havana, just an amazing town there. The old part of Havana, really great bars, famous for Hemingway, for example. We visited the hotel there, the sky bar, or bar on top of the roof. Best mojito I've ever tried for. Three euros, so pretty much nothing. And of course, if you, as one would expect from Cuba, picked up quite a few cigars. I think it was seventy-five cigars, and fifty cigars were the was the limit I could actually carry with me. So I gave them my best friend with which I was traveling. So that we have both 50 each, that we wouldn't get any problems with customs and whatnot. By the way, thank you Maritime Piper for the shout out, really appreciate it. 
The community is such just amazing. Currently 17 subscribers, if I remember correctly. I don't really care about that, but I'm really happy for the shoutout. Great to see everybody caring about everyone. Just such a loving place. Never experienced any community like that. I'm really surprised. I just want to thank you and every other subscriber that's new to my channel. And please excuse my English. Like I said, it's the second language I'm not that confident about it. The problem is, I can hold conversations and think about it in my head without any problems and know the pronunciation and everything, but as soon as I open my mouth, gone. Really strange. As soon as, as soon as I open my mouth, everything just vanishes and I can't seem to get a straight sentence out. Really annoying actually. If you want to bring something across. I don't really have a concept what I want to talk about, it's just like, just what, well, I'm sitting here in the shed anyway, might as well pop the camera and start filming. Something will come to mind eventually, or hopefully. I'll try to do another video in the evening as well. I'm sitting in my room in the leather, in the leather chair. And I want to talk about... Was it one or two weeks ago when the bearded Welshman, John, I think it was in his fireside chat. Don't quote me on that. And he's talking about how much time has changed in comparison to back in his days. And that got me thinking. Even compared to my nephew, my childhood compared to my nephews, just 10 years difference. It's so drastically different. It's really strange thinking about it. Another thing is. This week I will hopefully get to film the video about the tobacco laws in Austria. I have to continue reading a little bit more about it, since it's rather complicated. Paragraph 1 states something something, and the next paragraph below it completely crosses out the one above. And it's really strange and annoying, to be pretty honest. So I envy you guys in America, UK, and where not. I really envy you guys for your tobacco laws. They might seem harsh, but compared to that what we have here, they're actually pretty lenient, in my opinion at least. The only thing I'm afraid is, if I film the videos about the tobacco laws, it might just turn out as a rant. And I'm not really that, how should I say, that hyped about it. Don't want to rant all the time. That's the only thing that comes to my mind right now. Another note, I just managed, last week, I managed to 
get into a live stream of the Void Piper. Really great time. It was, I think it was two or three in the morning in Austria. That was an early stream. The other streams are most of the time so around 4, 5 a.m. There's no way in hell um, I will be able to join them. Since I um, get up at around 8 or something like that, 8 to 9 normally, and I have nothing to do. I get to sleep actually pretty late, maybe 1 or 2 a.m., but 4 to 5. It's a whole nother story. Kind of sad about it, but what can you do? I always watch the archive. Luckily, they're uploading it as well. And I at least feel like a little bit that I'm part of the live stream since I can since you can normally read the comments on the side as well. But there's nothing like joining it joining it completely live. I was really happy about it. Quite a nice discussion with White Pipers and everybody else it was in the stream at the end we were like Five to seven guys. Oh. I think we are only guys at the moment. Had an early discussion. Such a great time. Uh huh. Siri just popped up on the phone. For whatever reason. I think I'll end this video here. Continue smoking my pipe, which will be quite long actually, probably around oh, one and a half hours. My bowl lasts me one and a half hours in this pipe. And I don't want this video to get any longer. And like I said, maybe I will film another video in the evening. If I film it in the evening, I'll probably publish it tomorrow. Or if I film happy today, we'll have to look at that. I hope everybody has a great day and a great week. See ya.